Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Modupe, Modupe Banjo. I'm a makeup artist, a content creator. Yeah. And as you can see, this is my model for today. And I'm she has a clean face already. So we are going in with our primer. So I'm just going to put the primer in the oily zone, which is the T zone, her nose, the bridge of her nose and her chin. So that is what you see me doing here. I'm just blending it in. Just blending the primer in. So, yeah, just blending it in properly. So I have a foundation on already. So the next thing is this blush, this lipstick that you see me using as my blush, which was a fail, <laughs> total fail, but then we move. So I'm just trying to blend that in properly. Next thing is is the concealer which we have on already. I placed I placed it under her eye, the bridge of her nose, her forehead, and her chin. So that I'm trying to blend everything in properly, leaving the under eye to taking up a little bit for for full coverage, you know. So. Yeah, just blend, blend, blend. Blending is the key to makeup, guys. You have to know your way around this thing. You have to know how to blend properly. Else, don't mind my mother. She's a talkative. She talks a lot. So she's just here talking, disturbing me with her talks. So. Just trying to blend that forehead properly. And yeah, next, I'm blending out the bridge of her nose. So I'm just trying to make sure everything is blended well. And as you can see, I had to turn my beauty blender i have to use the back of my beauty blender to blend it in with the contour and as you can see that it was a seamless blend so the next thing is uh, i'm trying to contour the nose the side of her nose so i added i used a darker shade of foundation so i'm just trying to blend that in properly and gently So I'm blending that in using a fluffy brush. So just take your time while blending. As you can see, she's still talking. And guys, please, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is the time. Please just click on that button. Help me to get to 1K, please, guys. Now keep giving you guys content. I promise you. And yeah, because she has a long nose, so I'm trying to create the illusion of a shorter nose. Hence why I had to use that my brush for for the tip of her nose to cut it. I don't know how to explain this. So yeah, we are done with that. And next thing, I blended the under eye out already. So I'm just going in with my powder to blend everything in. Yeah, I added I added powder to the under eye to avoid creasing so I'm just blending out the rest of the face with a powder that is a shade so we just blend 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 yeah as you can see the skin work is given guys it is given <laughs> so the next thing here is we are going with uh, setting powder and you just i just you, you have to do that gently to be honest don't just pack setting powder under the eye please you don't want to look like masquerade so i just went in bit by bit using a tapping motion as you can see it is well blended under the eye so we are going to do the same thing to the other side of the face too so 
and guys thank you so much for your love on my previous videos but i don't take you guys for granted i promise you that thank you so please please keep supporting your girl please thank you god bless you yeah so i'm just bringing that powder down to our chin area and our smile lines <coughs> and on our forehead to to set that area too and as you can see it is it is giving look at the skin guys look at it so now we are going to bake yes you heard me right so that is what you see me doing here i'm baking don't worry maybe in another video i will teach you guys the difference between baking and setting but for now please take this so i'm not going in with too much powder i'm just using just little you know because i don't want much powder underneath that eye So yeah, I added our uh, eyeshadow base already and I'm, I, I'm going in with a light brown powder shade. I'm using my powder palette guys. This powder palette is from Flawless IV Cosmetics, yes, on IG. So I went in with a brown powder <coughs> because I want a soft eye look it is actually a soft cut crease look so i don't want something that is too much and you know why at the end of this video so just add it to your crease and blend out and guys i have i've been liking this technique that i've been using for a while now I like to do my eyeshadow first before my brow because that will make your brow look look crisp I don't know if you guys get there is this look that your makeup gives when you do your brow first and after the whole face the brow is already oily which I don't like so this method that I'm using has been bomb guys you can try it out too so that brown color that I'm using for my crease area um, actually blending it properly under uh, by the side of our nose to to give that well contoured nose so i'm doing the same to the other part of the eye too and mind you guys this is a cut crease eyeshadow so it does not matter because we are still going to cut above our eye socket so <clears throat> It does not really matter if the if the brown powder gets into the lid area don't worry so the next thing is is using our concealer to cut out our crease to make our cut crease and guys like i always say practice make perfect if you practice every day or every other day of course we will get there you will get there just do it gently and make sure your hand your hand is steady enough yes to be able to clean out that area properly and yeah 
this is the result after cutting out our crease so we are going to add our lead color i actually okay this color that i'm adding guys it was actually a pale pink but it didn't come out well so i went with this color that you're seeing here so i'm lining the upper part of our waterline guys this technique is very very good because you won't be able to differentiate between your eyelash and your first lash when you apply your first lash on that line so this is very good and this is me applying our mascara too and this this part is important too guys always always apply your mascara before your before your first lashes <clears throat> like my model she has coily eyelashes which are super super stressful but then what choice do i have <laughs> so that is why i'm taking my time to make sure the mascara gets everywhere so the next thing is the brow guys if you want an updated brow tutorial guys please comment down below and let me know so that i can give you a tutori tutorial on that see the bro guys look at the bro it is giving <laughs> it is giving guys just let me know down below comment down below if you want an updated bro tutorial and I will... don't worry and i'll give it to you guys what am i here for i'm here for you guys <laughs> you've not seen anything though so I'm just making sure everything is perfect because me I like perfection I'm a perfectionist <laughs> so I'm just making making sure it is perfect as usual so we are just cleaning the lower parts of our bro just a little bit of concealer to be honest guys a little bit is okay do not really need much and guys with the way i've been trying my bro recently it has been saving me on a lot of concealer usage and please you cannot take the concealer to the outer part of the is that the outer part i don't even know guys this English self, I cannot take the concealer close to the to the bridge of the nose because we already cleaned that part out. So I finished cleaning my brow as you can see, it came out perfect. So I'm going in with a black pencil, the pencil I used for my waterline. So I'm just lining a lip because I'm going for a bold lip color which is red. So I had so i'm just going in with a black pencil to give it to give the outer 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 part of the lip depth and structure yeah please don't mind my head though <laughs> don't mind my head guys please support your girl support me i'm here to stay i'm here to stay please support your girl and i'll never take your love for granted yeah we added our red lipstick already and it is giving giving so i'm just trying to add my false lashes so i'm trying to use my hand to, to adjust our original lash so the last thing is that even the last thing so I'm just blending the on, on the high <clears throat> with a lighter powder so just blend 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 never stop blending Blend guys and I added mascara to our lower 
lashes i actually love doing this routine guys i love this part of makeup like it gives it gives it gives your makeup another look i don't know how to i don't know the word to use but i love this i love that part of makeup so i'm adding the highlighter so i'm just trying to blend in blend it in very well so doing the same thing to the other side of the face like it is giving so we are going to add highlighter to the bridge of our nose with, with a precise brush guys because you don't want it all over the place and I'm just trying to blend it properly with my powder brush because I do not want it to be ash to come out ash so I'm spraying our face with a setting spray. The work of a setting spray is to just melt down your makeup. And this is the finished look, guys. Support your girl. Subscribe. Bye.